Before we start our topic today, please smash the like button and subscribe to help the channel grow. The Bermuda Triangle, also known as the Devil's Triangle, is a loosely defined region in the western part of the North Atlantic Ocean where a number of aircraft and ships are said to have disappeared under mysterious circumstances. Most reputable sources dismiss the idea that there is any mystery. The Bermuda Triangle is a mythical section of the Atlantic Ocean roughly bounded by Miami, Bermuda, and Puerto Rico where dozens of ships and airplanes have disappeared. Unexplained circumstances surround some of these accidents, including one in which the pilots of a squadron of U.S. Navy bombers became disoriented while flying over the area, the planes were never found. Other boats and planes have seemingly vanished from the area in good weather without even radioing distress messages. But although myriad fanciful theories have been proposed regarding the Bermuda Triangle, none of them prove that mysterious disappearances occur more frequently there than in other well-traveled sections of the ocean. In fact, people navigate the area every day without incident. Legend of the Bermuda Triangle The area referred to as the Bermuda Triangle, or Devil's Triangle, covers about 500,000 square miles of ocean off the southeastern tip of Florida. When Christopher Columbus sailed through the area on his first voyage to the New World, he reported that a great flame of fire, probably a meteor, crashed into the sea one night, and that a strange light appear appeared in the distance a few weeks later. He also wrote about erratic compass readings, perhaps because at that time a sliver of the Bermuda Triangle was one of the few places on Earth where true north and magnetic north lined up. William Shakespeare's play The Tempest, which some scholars claim was based on a real-life Bermuda shipwreck, may have enhanced the area's aura of mystery. Nonetheless, reports of unexplained disappearances did not really capture the public's attention until the 20th century. An especially infamous tragedy occurred in March 1918, when the USS Cyclops, a 542-foot-long Navy cargo ship with over 300 men and 10,000 tons of manganese or on board, sank somewhere between Barbados and the Chesapeake Bay. The Cyclops never sent out an SOS distress call despite being equipped to do so, and an extensive search found no wreckage. Only God and the sea know what happened to the great ship, US President Woodrow Wilson later said. In 1941 two of the Cyclops' sister ships similarly vanished without a trace along nearly the same route. A pattern allegedly began forming in which vessels traversing the Bermuda Triangle would either disappear or be found abandoned. Then, in December 1945, five Navy bombers carrying 14 men took off from a Fort Lauderdale, Florida, airfield in order to conduct practice bombing runs over some nearby shoals. But with his compasses apparently malfunctioning, the leader of the mission, known as Flight 19, got severely lost. All five planes flew aimlessly until they ran low on fuel and were forced to ditch at sea. That same day, a rescue plane and its 13-man crew also disappeared. After a massive weeks-long search failed to turn up any evidence, the official Navy report declared, declared that it was as if they had flown to Mars. Bermuda Triangle Theories and Counter Theories By the time author Vincent Gaddis coined the phrase Bermuda Triangle in a 1964 magazine article, additional mysterious accidents had occurred in the area, including three passenger planes that went down despite having just sent all's well messages. Charles Berlitz, whose grandfather founded the Berlitz Language Schools, stoked the legend even further in 1974 with a sensational bestseller about the legend. Since then, scores of fellow paranormal writers have blamed the Triangle's supposed lethalness on everything from aliens, Atlantis, and sea monsters to time warps and reverse gravity fields, whereas more scientifically-minded theorists have pointed to magnetic anomalies, waterspouts or huge eruptions of methane gas from the ocean floor. In all probability, however, there is no single theory that solves the mystery. As one skeptic put it, trying to find a common cause for every Bermuda Triangle disappearance is no more logical than trying to find a common cause for every automobile accident in Arizona. Moreover, although storms, reefs and the Gulf Stream can cause navigational challenges there, maritime insurance leader Lloyds of London does not recognize the Bermuda Triangle as an especially hazardous place. Neither does the U.S. Coast Guard, which says, in a review of many aircraft and vessel losses in the area over the years, there has been nothing discovered that would indicate that, that casualties were the result of anything other than physical causes. 
No extraordinary factors have ever been identified. Paranormal Explanations Triangle writers have used a number of supernatural concepts to explain the events. One explanation pins the blame on leftover technology from the mythical lost continent of Atlantis. Sometimes connected to the Atlantis story is the submerged rock formation known as the Bimini Road off the island of Bimini in the Bahamas, which is in the triangle by some definitions. Followers of the purported psychic Edgar Cayce take his prediction that evidence of Atlantis would be found in 1968 as referring to the discovery of the Bimini Road. Believers describe the formation as a road, wall, or other structure, but the Bimini Road is of natural origin. Other writers attribute the events to UFOs. Charles Berlitz, author of various books on anomalous phenomena, lists several theories attributing the losses in the triangle to anomalous or unexplained forces. Natural Explanations Compass Variations Compass problems are one of the cited phrases in many triangle incidents. While some have theorized that unusual local magnetic anomalies may exist in the area, such anomalies have not been found. Compasses have natural magnetic variations in relation to the magnetic poles, a fact which navigators have known for centuries. Magnetic, compass, north and geographic, true, north are exactly the same only for a small number of places, for example, as of 2000, in the United States, only those places, places on a line running from Wisconsin to the Gulf of Mexico. But the public may not be as informed, and think there is something mysterious about a compass changing across an area as large as the triangle, which it naturally will. Violent weather. Hurricanes are powerful storms that form in tropical waters, and have historically cost thousands of lives, and caused billions of dollars in damage. The sinking of Francisco de Bobadilla's Spanish fleet in 1502 was the first recorded instance of a destructive hurricane. These storms have in the past caused a number of incidents related to the triangle. Many Atlantic hurricanes pass through the triangle as they recurve off the eastern seaboard and, before the advent of weather satellite, ships often had little to no warning of a hurricane's approach. A powerful downdraft of cold air was suspected to be a cause in the sinking of Pride of Baltimore on May 14, 1986. The crew of the sunken vessel noted the wind suddenly shifted and increased velocity from 32 km per hour, 20 miles per hour, to 97 to 145 km per hour, 60 to 90 miles per hour. A National Hurricane Center satellite specialist, James Lushine, stated during very unstable weather conditions the downburst of cold air from aloft can hit the surface like a bomb, exploding outward like a giant squall line of wind and water. A similar event occurred to Concordia in 2010, off the coast of Brazil. Scientists are currently investigating whether hexagonal clouds may be the source of these up to 170 mph, 270 km per hour, air bombs. Human Error One of the most cited explanations in official inquiries as to the loss of any aircraft or vessel is human error. Human stubbornness may have caused businessman Harvey Conover to lose his sailing yacht, Revenock, as he sailed into the teeth of a storm south of Florida on January 1, 1958. Notable, notable incidents. HMS Atlanta. The sail training ship HMS Atlanta, originally named HMS Juno, disappeared with her entire crew after setting sail from the Royal Naval Dockyard, Bermuda for Falmouth, England on January 31, 1880. It was presumed that she sank in a powerful storm which crossed her route a couple of weeks after she sailed, and that her crew being composed primarily of inexperienced trainees may have been a contributing factor. The search for evidence of her fate attracted worldwide attention at the time, connection is also often made to the 1878 loss of the training ship HMS Eurydice, which foundered after departing the Royal Naval Dockyard in Bermuda for Portsmouth on March 6, and she was alleged decades later to have been a victim of the mysterious triangle, an allegation resoundingly refuted by the research of author David Francis Rain in 1997. USS Cyclops The incident resulting in the single largest loss of life in the history of the U.S. Navy not related to combat occurred when the Collier Cyclops, carrying a full load of manganese or and with one engine out of action, went missing without a trace with a crew of 309 sometime after March 4, 1918 after departing the island of Barbados. Although there is no strong evidence for any single theory, many independent theories exist, 
some blaming storms, some capsizing, and some suggesting that wartime enemy activity was to blame for the loss. In addition, two of Cyclops' sister ships, Proteus and Nereus were subsequently lost in the North Atlantic during World War II. Both ships were transporting heavy loads of metallic or similar to that which was loaded on Cyclops during her fatal voyage. In all three cases structural failure due to overloading with a much denser cargo than designed is considered the most likely cause of sinking. Carol A. A. Deering Schooner Carol A. Deering, as seen from the Cape Lookout light vessel on January 29, 1921, two days before she was found deserted in North Carolina. U.S. Coast Guard Carol A. Deering, a five-masted schooner built in 1919, was found hard aground and abandoned at Diamond Shoals, near Cape Hatteras, North Carolina, on January 31, 1921. FBI investigation into the Deering scrutinized, then ruled out, multiple theories as to why and how the ship was abandoned, including piracy, domestic communist sabotage and the involvement of rum runners. Flight 19 Flight 19 was a training flight of five TBM Avenger torpedo bombers that disappeared on December 5, 1945, while over the Atlantic. The squadron's flight plan was scheduled to take them due east from Fort Lauderdale for 141 miles, 227 kilometers, north for 73 miles, 117 kilometers, and then back over a final 140 mile, 230 kilometer, lake to complete the exercise. The flight never returned to base. The disappearance was attributed by Navy investigators to navigational error leading to the aircraft running out of fuel. One of the search and rescue aircraft deployed to look for them, a PBM Mariner with a 13-man crew, also disappeared. A tanker off the coast of Florida reported seeing an explosion and observing a widespread oil slick when fruitlessly searching for survivors. The weather was becoming stormy by the end of the incident. According to contemporaneous sources the Mariner had a history of explosions due to vapor leaks when heavily loaded with fuel, as it might have been for a potentially long search and rescue operation. Star Tiger and Star Ariel GAHNP Star Tiger disappeared on January 30, 1948, on a flight from the Azores to Bermuda, GAGRE Star Ariel disappeared on January 17, 1949, on a flight from Bermuda to Kingston, Jamaica. Both were Avro Tudor four-passenger aircraft operated by British South American Airways, 49. Both planes were operating at the very limits of their range, range, and the slightest error or fault in the equipment could keep them from reaching the small island. Douglas DC-3 On December 28, 1948, a Douglas DC-3 aircraft, number NC-16002, disappeared while on a flight from San Juan, Puerto Rico to Miami. No trace of the aircraft, or the 32 people on board, was ever found. A Civil Aeronautics Board investigation found there was insufficient information available on which to determine probable cause of the disappearance. Connemara 4 A pleasure yacht was found adrift in the Atlantic south of Bermuda on September 26, 1955, it is usually stated in the stories, Berlitz, Weiner, that the crew vanished while the yacht survived being at sea during three hurricanes. The 1955 Atlantic hurricane season shows Hurricane Ione passing nearby between 14 and September 18, with Bermuda being affected by winds of almost gale force. One, in his second book on the Bermuda Triangle, Weiner quoted from a letter he had received from Mr. J.E. Challoner of Barbados. On the morning of September 22, Connemara 4 was lying to a heavy mooring in the open roadstead of Carlisle Bay. Because of the approaching hurricane, the owners strengthened the mooring ropes and put out two additional anchors. There was little else he could do, as the exposed mooring was the only available anchorage. In Carlisle Bay, the sea in the wake of Hurricane Janet was awe-inspiring and dangerous. The owner of Connemara 4 observed that she had disappeared. An investigation revealed that she had dragged her moorings and gone to sea. KC-135 Stratotankers on August 28, 1963, a pair of U.S. Air Force KC-135 Stratotanker aircraft collided and crashed into the Atlantic 300 miles west of Bermuda. Some writers say that while the two aircraft did collide there were two distinct crash sites, separated by over 160 miles, 
260 kilometers of water. However, Kush research showed that the unclassified version of the Air Force investigation report revealed that the debris field defining the second crash site was examined by a search and rescue ship and found to be a mass of seaweed and driftwood tangled in an old buoy. Thank you for watching. See you again for another interesting facts and stories.